Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to another episode of Nerd Up. This week, I got Dalton Anthony. Yo. Then a uh, special guest here, Mr. 100. Rock flag and eagle. See, he thought I was going to say the F word, and I didn't do it. I don't know if that's I said better. flag. He did He did say an F word. Uh, that does <laughs> and count. And Wolfgang managed Hi. to make it this week. I didn't have to close tonight. Very happy about it. I, I I switched to Monday nights thinking more people would be able to join in on the show, and that has not been the case. No, well, by more people, you mean me. Al, Allie's sitting on the yeah. bench right now waiting. <laughs> Just call her in. Well, so what's Allie doing right now? Yeah. Playing Play Warcraft. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so she could have been here. Yeah, but why? That's fair. Yeah, she, Allie, Allie doesn't like any of the stuff she we has talk very about. Little. Well, she liked it. Oh, that's but good. What is it? What is it? More what? on that later. Uh, yeah, no, I uh, actually spent a lot of today playing WoW Classic. Uh, you son of a... I know, Done. Right? I know, right? I, uh, I, I I got that druid up to level 10. So I ended up playing Red Dead a lot with Bob because I forgot you said you were going to be... I know you said you were thinking about being off. I didn't know if you actually did. Well, I, I mean, I woke up. Throat was still sore. Uh, thought I had strep throat. I do not, fortunately. Uh, it's just a sinus infection, so I'm a, I'm a little nasally right now, but I, I at least don't have strep. So, yeah. Uh, so, basically, I spent all day playing World of Warcraft instead of doing, you know, anything productive or Welcome useful. Welcome back, life. friend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was going to do Hello Darkness, my old friend, but that counts too. Yeah, I mean, I, I paid $15 for this. I've got to get as much time in as I can before the Friday uh, because Wait, Friday... Wait, did, did they cut Classic off at that point? Or Borderlands that... comes out. Oh, that's, that's right. right. That's the, yep, my that's biggest the fear is that, I don't know, have, have you ever loved something when you were younger? This, this isn't as far back, thank God, but you loved something when you were younger and when you when you experienced a, a newer version of it or when it comes out, a new version of it comes out, you're kind of like, oh, I kind of outgrew this a little bit. Taco Bell bean burritos. I, mean, I, I love I, I love those as a game at perspective. I, lo- I, lo- I loved them as a kid, and I had one like three days ago, and I'm like, man, this is garbage. See, my big fear is that you guys are going to play Borderlands three, and you're going to be like, it's fine. Uh, we're we're here to we're, after this we're playing Borderlands two. So because let me be, <laughs> by we used to love it. You mean we are still currently loving let, it? Let me be honest with you real quick. Yeah. I, know, I know Hunter's listening to this. Well, this isn't the video game segment right now. In fairness. Oh, do you actually have? Yeah, a we have a video here? game segment. Oh, okay. yeah. I'll wait to. Uh, wait, right. I, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just like I'll we say, can. Well, I have, we'll, I have we'll a gears there in a, minute. a gears five uh, quick thing. Oh but, yeah. Oh yeah. We'll throw that in there. That's all sorts of rough. Yeah. We we could get to that in the video game portion. We got a tail end, buddy. Yeah. We 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 start though with a little bit of movie and TV news here. We got Peter. Capaldi has been cast in The Suicide Squad in an undisclosed role. He was the the gooch on. <laughs> he was. Uh, I was really about to ask who Peter Capaldi is because yeah, I, like, I know the, the name, but the I don't. Twelfth Doctor, I think, something like that. Not, oh, okay. not, not the girl doctor it now. Help me. The one, he's still the one don't. before that. He was the one before the girl doctor. He was the older doctor. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's a he great was, actor. He was between Matt Smith and. I cannot think of. Oh, the woman. I know who you're talking about. Okay, she's Still great. doesn't David help Tenet. me. Uh, nope. Other one? <laughs> no, the the female doctor. The, well, the oh, one I that is currently the doctor, the current yeah. doctor. Because I I am really far, but I'm still. It, it's been years since I've watched Doctor Who. Like I've never watched Doctor Who. It's a really good show. I only keep up with it mostly because of Billy, and just because I try to know a little bit about everything, you know. No, that's good. Um, and I I genu- generally like the Doctor Who actors. Yeah, they've always been good. David David Tennant was. So good. It was incredible. I even like the one uh, that kind of looked weird, like an alien in a way. Eccleson? Was that who it is? He, first, was, he, he, he was, was the first one in the relaunch? Uh, yeah, yeah. He was handsome, yeah. but in a weird way, kind of. Yeah, I, no, I can see that. Uh, he was only around for one season. No, actually, I think it was it was after Tenant. Uh, Matt Smith. Yes, yeah, Matt Smith. He, he also was a little weird he was in, uh He was in the Terminator, uh, Terminator Genesis. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of. I mean, he was there. Yeah, um, he, he, he yeah. made an appearance. Yeah. Uh, either way, no, I, I'm, I'm really far behind on Doctor Who. Like, I keep meaning to get back into it because it is a really good show. Like, I just, I don't know why I haven't watched any of it. I think it was because um, back in the day, my when I it was when I lived with Garrett that I watched it a lot. He would buy, like, all the half seasons that they would release, and then I would just watch them that way. And then he didn't. So live you relied with me on somebody anymore. else for your Doctor Who. I did, and uh, now I don't have that. Though apparently it's on Amazon Instant. I yes, think. Yes, I think it's on like Amazon. That. Yeah. Regardless, there's too much of it. Peter Capaldi. Too much of it. I'm not going to go back in time and watch all of it. You know what I mean? I mean, you only have to go back to Eccleston, which is still a lot of TV at this point. It is, but I mean, you could go back and watch the original Doctor Who because it's all one continuous story, isn't it? Yeah. If the Doctor changes bodies yeah. every so often or whatever. Yeah, and that's the the new actors. Is, yeah. yeah. He uh, basically whenever he dies, uh, he just he, he actually just goes into a new body. And yet, people still got upset when it was a woman. Yes, a lot of people are very upset about that for some reason. I have no idea why. 
Um, oh, they didn't like the lack of representation for the uh, white male in that show now? You know what? I never understood why people got upset about, I think his name was Justin Chapman, I think it was his name, playing Goku in the Dragon Ball movie. Like, it's a terrible movie, no doubt. Oh, yeah. I but, don't know why. They should be upset with the movie, not that casting. But people were like, why are you casting a white actor for this role? And I'm like, you know Goku is a, a Saiyan. He's an alien. He's not Asian. He's a monkey person. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does it matter? No, I'm being dead no, serious. No, 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 no. Yeah. I know, and I know you are. It's just you saying out that of, out loud. Like, if, if somebody had no idea what <laughs> Dragon Ball person. was, yeah, it was like super racist. Wow, like <laughs> I just didn't. I never understood that. I heard my dad for a second. I was really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he, he, he's, he's, uh, they, they not, are not human. Yeah, he's not an alien. alien. They, yeah. He is from uh, a planet full yeah. of a- like people that turn into apes. Yeah, not, not Asian. Yeah, just because <laughs> it was made by an Asian person doesn't mean that the character was. I Asian. can't I mean, believe they. Casted a white guy's Iron Fist. Um, yeah, that was that was, also a, that was a really funny one too. Because <laughs> it's like, do you know nothing about the comic books? <laughs> like, Danny Rand is super white. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the bit, <laughs> right? Uh, anyway, all right. So moving on here, though, we had a uh, It Chapter Two. Yes, uh, that came out over the weekend. So. Yes. I'm going to talk a little bit about that first, though. Uh, we got at the beginning of it, I, I think it was at the beginning of everybody's screening, was the uh, the Birds of Prey teaser. Yep. yep. Which with, I uh, did Margot not know Robbie. was happening. I knew it was happening, but I forgot. Yeah. And as I was watching the film, I remember there was a clip of something, and I couldn't remember what it was. And then all of a sudden, the, the movie starts, because there's no preview for it, no yeah. preview screen. And the music hits, and it says DC. I was, yeah, I was about to say, I saw the DC logo, yeah, and I was wait like, wait a minute. Like, Hold up. I am DC had a part in this. DC picked up it. <laughs> we get an it comic. <laughs> and then uh, Margot Robbie shows up and hits it and says something about the being over clowns. Yeah, or she's like, clowns. I'm so effing over clowns. Did she say effing, or did yes. she actually say the word? She, uh, I think, well, she actually said the word. Oh, did she? Yeah. Damn, I missed um, it. So it yeah, talking. she said, I'm so fuck. <laughs> I'm so uh, what? Because it sounded like you were about to say. Did a you? Or I was. Did, did that just beep you? <laughs> it did. <laughs> I felt like that beeped you. That was that was pretty funny. Uh, Pokemon for the save, right? It's so yeah, e for everyone, Jesse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and this trailer was not. Neither was the movie. Um, no, it yeah, was, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it was a se- very serious film. My, for adults my computer crashed uh so yeah we uh we lost a little bit of audio including shannon talking about the uh the extreme hate crime yes uh, and i think we also missed out on the child orgy talk yes yep. that was um, uh, which, that which is in the book by the way we yeah, were, yeah we were, we we were talking, talking about, about, we, were talking about some, we were talking about some differences uh between the uh, the book and the film and which there are many uh also did the AC ever get turned on? Because I'm just noticing it's kind of warm in here. I turned no, the AC I'm on. comfortable now. I'm, I was freezing when I came in yeah, here. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, Are you uh, heated might, about your computer not working nah, properly? It might just be because I'm getting sick. So when knows. that when that movie started, and uh, are we in spoiler territory? Are we uh, no, it's a spoiler-free review. So we, is, we is do even spoilers on about, Thursday if you it's want. talking about the hate crime. Like I mean, it was in the get, it's at the very beginning of the movie. Like yeah. that's, that's it's a pretty pivotal part. Well, not I guess not, but just so because all all it's really only there to set up um, the Mike's findings. Yeah, and the return of yeah. it. Uh, when I saw the, when the when the gentleman kissed the other gentleman. I could, oh word! Yeah, I could feel. Were you like me and you could feel the theater? Oh yeah, as soon like well, I don't. I couldn't really feel the theater, but I knew like I think everybody in the theater probably did know like oh, this is gonna go poorly. No, what I no, mean, he's like, thinking more of why are they showing this on yeah, the screen? I, I that could, that was the type of audience we were watching. I, could, I could feel the audience going like oh oh now they're gonna put this in our movies too, and I cringed a little bit because I'm like please don't let anything bad happen to them, and if something bad happens to him, please don't let the audience cheer. Thankfully, one of those two things did not happen. Yeah, I, I like that I'm in a place yes. where like I didn't even think about like the audience being all up uh, in arms it, about it. it. It didn't bother me clearly. I don't care. I've yeah. kissed yeah. men recently, <laughs> but uh, the audience, especially because there were there were kids there. Yeah. Man, okay. Yeah, I was, I was right, ask you because I there went. was someone that had like some little kids yeah. in there, like because uh, there was. What time did you guys go? Ten in the 10 morning. Ten a.m. Because there there was oh, a yeah. girl that went down to like the outside exit and opened the door and threw something outside. I don't know what she was doing, but she <laughs> couldn't have been more than like seven. Yeah. I went to the the nine ten on Saturday, and there were like there was there was a dad that had walked at least twice. Uh, with his two like small children, younger than seven, easily. Yeah, like walking them like in and out of the theater. You know, use the bathroom, whatever. Because it was a really long movie, longer than I thought it was going to be. Three hours almost. Yeah. yeah, 
It was like two hours, 50 minutes run yep. time I or something like that. I timed my bathroom break well. It was that original like trailer spot that we already saw everything. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll uh, I'll except if it was part. the old lady one, they swerved me hard. How so? Uh, was that well, spoilerish? I mean... She was very different in the trailer when she, ca- or you know, at the end of the trailer. Oh, when she chased after her. Yeah, very different there in the trailer yeah, well, versus because well, uh, they obviously couldn't show what they actually yeah. showed. Because there was a lot of naked grandma in that movie. Oh yeah, there was like a nasty. There you go, I'm Dalton. pretty sure I blocked most of. I think I have to go see this full price. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> to be fair, times. to to be fair, in the back of the theater, it won't scare you as much. Yeah, I wasn't. I, there was only one part of well, the movie. I, that the only time I covered my the- eyes was when Bill Hader kept throwing up. That's Fair. true. He did do that several times. I can't be the film. scared of naked grandma. That's like the least threatening thing in the world next to a, a penguin in a bow tie. That just makes me think of that that uh, celebrity fam- the Family Feud clip. Name something that you you a robber wouldn't want to see with a break in your house. And the guy hits the buzzer and he's like, naked grandma. grandma. <laughs> <laughs> That's something a robber would not want to see. You're the only one that thought it though. Yeah. Um, was there anything in the movie that scared you? Because there's only one part that made me jump. And I, w- I want to see if it's the same part maybe that made you jump. Uh, I'm trying to re- – there was a part that made me jump. There were a couple jump scares um, that got me, but I don't remember them specifically. Naked grandma. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the, uh, the the specific jump on it, though. I'll tell you the one that got me. Um, the only we'll one that have, got me. We'll have to do it off air, though. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say what happened. I'm just going to say a name. Okay, fair Paul enough. Paul Bunyan. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah. That was the jump. Yeah. Yeah. I, was uh, that the one that I kind of, like, jumped and turned towards you, I, th- yeah, well, I you, think? Yeah, I won't say what happens, but just Paul Bunyan. Yeah. I was like, you son of a gun. Yeah. I did vote that, uh, yeah. a little in that you. one. I'm pretty sure I was like, oh, geez. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the only part that made me jump. Uh, but we won't spoil too much, but here's what I will say about the film. I thought it was good. It wasn't as good as the first one. Obviously, the first one was just great. I thought the second one, it went on too long. Some I had some problem with some of the storyline. We'll talk about it on Thursday. Um, but I liked it. One thing I will say, especially go for, though, and it's been said before, and it's absolutely true, Bill Hader. Yes. Was a delight in that film. He was so good. Stole the scene in every movie. Uh, stole the scene. Yeah, every scene he was, he was so in. good. And honestly, like that that cast just in general was stacked. They were. They were really good. Uh, but Bill Hader, like everyone else, was so like other than the the guy that played Eddie because he kind of had personality and yeah. and Richie. Everyone else was very calm and numb. Those were the only two that had like really outgoing personalities uh, to me. James McAvoy, I think I thought did great. He was good, but he was a straight uh, man. Not gonna a- lie, I completely forgot that character had a stutter. Yeah. Well, did you notice he got over it until he went back to Derry? Yeah, yeah. when he got scared. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, everything started coming back to him and all that good stuff. And yeah, and like James, James McAvoy. McAvoy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you mean he did a good job? <laughs> well, I mean, he Let did me a see good sky's blue. He did a good wet. job, but he didn't really have a he, he didn't have the best parts. They they True. clearly no, gave the best parts to to Bill Hader. Uh, cuz he had he had some really phenomenal scenes, but minute. just like in general, yeah. uh, Isn't Bill Hader like the main? No. Bill no. Hader Bill Hader is the Finn Wolfhard from the original movie. Well, you didn't watch the original movie, did you? No, I watched the original. Isn't I always thought Finn Wolfhard was the main in that. No, the no. main of that was the kid the, uh, the tall Will, like oh. skinny kid okay. Bill. Bill. I Hader, guess it's just cuz uh, I saw Finn and I was like, then, "Oh, that's the important one." And then Bill ends up becoming James McAvoy. It's a car, don't worry. And Finn Wolfhard becomes Bill Hader. Yes. uh, Which, not only was he the best actor in the film, he had the best parts, he also had my favorite part of the movie, which, again, I won't say too much about it, but uh, Dog Behind the Door. Yes. (laughs) Holy crap, that was great. (laughs) That was so good. From now on, Uh, we're taking just normal scary. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was pretty fantastic. Honestly, I think everybody did great. Jessica Chastain was awesome. I love like, Jessica she did Chastain. Really good. Uh, Bill Scar is that Scarsgard? That's Scarsgard. Okay, yeah. uh, as fantastic as 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 Pennywise. Now there was one part that I didn't like with him, only because I compare it completely to the original, hmm. and that's the part where he it's in the fantasy or whatever, and then he says, "Kiss me, fat boy." Yeah. His "Kiss me, fat boy" is not as entertaining as Tim Curry's was, but Tim Curry's was supposed to be funnier, right? I mean, everything about that movie was supposed to be Tim Curry being like funnier, and he uh, was. Tim yeah. Curry was his Pennywise was hilariously like dark, yes. whereas Bill Skarsgård, there's nothing funny about him. No, everything about him is like you know, pants wetting terror. Especially when <laughs> you realize, I don't know if you realize this, that the eye thing he does is natural. That's not CG. No, really? Yeah, he was on Conan talking about it. And they're like, so how do they do that? And he's like, oh, you mean this? this? And he just did. Ah. And they were like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's weird. Is yeah. it shaky or does it separate? It's no, he, he, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 no. Because no. like, I can do like have one eye going in and I can look at Shannon. Don't do that. Uh, with the other. Yeah, but the like, way he does it, his is just like. Yeah, no, float. his, like, I can't, like, I could, there's no way I could do they that. They all float in there. <laughs> all the eyes float. It's, it's, it's a real weird yeah. trick. Yeah, I he definitely did He has super did not, not lazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are working overtime. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Take the job very seriously. He has, or he has double laser eyes. <laughs> They're double lazy double eyes. Double laser, laser eyes. 
<laughs> that would have made that movie so a lot more interesting. Pennywise is a lot scarier. <laughs> Didn't think that was possible. <laughs> but anyway, right. what's the rating on this? Because uh, apparently we got video games R. to talk about. Mother. <laughs> hard R. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill Hader likes dropping that up. Not, <laughs> not what I was done. Lindsay, don't. The amount of um, <laughs> homophobic slurs alone in the first 10 minutes. No oh. joke. Uh, but either way, no, I give a full price for sure. Thank like, you. It's, That's it's what I wanted to I know. know. I know. You, mm. I, gi- I, give it, I give it. I'm going to show up on Thursday just so I can call y'all what I want to call you. need somebody. <laughs> no, no, wait, I'll be good. You're good. No, no, I'll just for three seconds. I'm going to use the word that I want to use now then. Uh, I want to say full price but with an asterisk that – it, it was we'll talk about it on Thursday I was disappointed in a couple things but it's one of those movies you have to go see in theaters it's, yeah, it's so big and crazy effect. yeah oh yeah no I, I like horror movies are fun to watch like at home but yeah, watching yeah, no. like a big budget horror movie like that yeah. like, you gotta I'll do say it full price on it too scary movies are always scarier in theater absolutely you know it's way easier to get into it it's louder that too for them for them jump scares boy mm-hmm. but yeah it was good it was good yeah I really enjoyed it okay uh, and then, oh, yeah, and I meant to mention we were talking about the Birds of Prey teaser. Um, oh, did we miss that, too? Did they miss out on that? Uh, no, no. Okay. Like, I just forgot to mention Margot Robbie is also working on a Tank Girl reboot. Yeah, and gosh, I wish she wasn't. I no, mean, it's fine. Because that first Tank Girl movie was terrible. It yeah. was awful. No, the 1995 Tank Girl movie was terrible. I still kind of have fond memories of it, though, because, I mean, it had Ice-T, it had Lori Petty, and I was, it had Naomi Watts in one of her first movies, so... I can't hate it too much, but I loved it as a kid. Trying to watch it as an adult didn't work out for me. No. The kangaroo people just bother me too much. Everything about that movie bothered me. Like I, like when I watched it. When Lori I was Petty older. was having fun. She was. Like, she has fun in every role she's ever been in. Uh, it's good to see Margot Robbie getting some work. I was afraid <laughs> being gorgeous and blonde would have really hurt her. I mean, in fairness, I think she's executive producing it. Like oh, she was she uh, got the two credit. Like yeah. she is in uh, Birds of Prey because she's executive producing Birds of Prey as well. Good for her. I'm not sold on Birds of Prey. Cool. I'm not sold on it yet. I'll wait till I see a trailer. I got my hopes up. The only movie I've got my hopes up about that's DC related is Joker. I really think Joker's going to be spectacular. Any other DC movie, because they didn't make it like a DC movie. It's its own film that just happens to be about the Joker. See, um, and that's I what will, I will. That's wait. what's prevented me from getting hyped about it. Like yeah. I, I'm really? sure. Yeah, I'm sure that it's going to be a good movie. Like, and I'm going to watch it in theaters. I'm just not like hyped about it because here's the thing like it's it goes back to like I, my favorite character is Nightwing. I can't have a Nightwing movie until I have Batman and Robin, like a good one. Yeah, so no, like it's the same thing with sense. Joker. Like I can't have a I I can't have a Joker movie without a pre existing world, in my opinion. I and I very well could be wrong. I still haven't seen Venom, and like kind of for the same reasons. And they still really forced that one. But like, to, but to be fair, Joker became a better act or better director Joker this time. Joker became and Joker before Batman. Yeah, you know I mean well, I, th- I do think no, the Joker. Story. I guess I think the Joker is going to be better than Venom. Like I, I have no doubt I've seen that's not that. a high bar to jump over. Not. I I truly believe when Joker comes out, it will be the most sought after Halloween outfit of 2019. Only by the neck beards. No, I I, I, I yeah, think it, it will be the most praised comic book movie of all time. I'm going to disagree. People are going to hold it to a higher standard than they hold any other comic book movie. The Avengers. Any of them. I'm not, but you're not hearing me though. What I'm saying is that they're not going to treat this like a comic book movie. They're not going to treat this like another they're gonna flashbang. They're going to treat this like a Scorsese like, film. They're going like to treat this as psychological yeah. drama. No, Th- this movie is going to get. happens to have comic book. This is not going to be referred to as a comic book film. This is going to be referred to as an amazing movie. Uh, here's my here's my argument. Are they going to have DC as the o- one of the opening bumpers in it? Yeah, I'm sure. They All right, will. and then then the Academy's already going to be like, eh, it's a comic book movie. Uh, but we'll see about that because you remember Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger won just for. No, I mean like it's still going to win a bunch of awards and everything, but like nobody's going to like leave comic book movie out of their review. Yeah, and that's and that and like and I get exactly say, what you're saying. Yeah, and I'm not saying they're not going to refer to it as a comic book movie. What I'm saying is that when you think comic book movie, for the most part, you think superheroes, you think action and stuff like that. This movie's very much going to be. It's going to have a message. It's going to be very serious. People are going to look at this in the same way they look at art house indie films. No one looks at superhero movies like an art house indie film. No, that's pretty true. You know, that's I can't fair. think of a single one other than like some actual art house indie film superhero movies like uh, the Super or you know some of those some of those like other the Cow stuff yeah, like the, that the low budget ones. Um, so I, I think this movie is going to be a whole different beast. No, no, like I said, I think it's going to be good. Like, I suck. just I'll leave and go. It's going to be crusty. I'll pull the cigar out of my mouth and go. What the hell was that? <laughs> See, <laughs> and it's one of those like it's going to. Because I feel like it's going to do good too. Because right now it's like killing it in any like it early is. viewing thing. It yeah. is. It's won all kinds of awards already. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's one of those like I feel like it's going to set a bad precedent where DC's just like we don't need a pre-existing world, uh, or they're just going to do like what they were trying to do with Batman and just like Batman was successful. Let's make every movie dark and gritty. 
and that's which just, they've been on that kick since 2006. Yeah, Shazam was their first like. All right, guys, oh, the, let's, let's, let's have a little try. fun. Let's have the, a little okay, fun. Okay, let's make it the back end of Justice League. I'll I'll argue that Justice League was a fun movie. Yeah, Justice League was it, fun. Yeah. The, I'm not saying back, it was good. No, the, I'm saying the back, it was fun. The back end of it definitely like but lightened up. A to be bit. fair, the Joker should not be a fun. No, character, no, it shouldn't. I'm, you know? And that's not what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that the Cesar Romero whole time. Yeah, I'm not blaming the Joker <laughs> or anything for this. I'm, I'm saying that DC is going to see it and they're going to like, oh, that was successful. Let's repeat this. They're going to use it as a template. We're Let's saying make, successful. They made money on Suicide Squad. That they made was money on su- Justice League. They made money on all their movies. I mean, like it's yeah, not Marvel they, money, but. But they're still making money. I mean, yeah. But like, nobody not, makes that money. There's nothing wrong with second place. You know? <laughs> a distant <laughs> second. Dark Horse Comics like 30, is going like... 30th place because Marvel won't stop making movies. Dark Horse <laughs> made a couple movies? Where's their money? Ooh. Exactly. Yeah, that last, that last Hellboy movie. was not... It was rough. That was rough. That was, was real rough. I enjoyed that movie, but that was that was rough. I didn't even enjoy it. Really? I, I didn't. Yet. Uh, I pretty sure i fell asleep while we were watching care. it you yeah, didn't care about I it i just did yeah. not it, it was yeah. not it was not a good movie by any means no, but it was, it was a fun popcorn it was flick. fun-ish it I, was easily as fun as venom i just i couldn't separate i think my problem was separating david harbour from ron perlman because oh, you know ron perlman was so iconic as hellboy and I, mean, I, I still thought david harbour did great he did a good job uh, he, the script wasn't great obviously the script was not great uh the uh, cg at the end was questionable the cg in a lot of spots was pretty questionable though yes. i did like the giant fight the giant fight was fun. That was pretty fun. All anyway, right, uh, anyway. let's let's move Sorry, on. Sorry, guys. This next That's portion of our podcast. Right, tangents. Brought to you by our friends at Villainous Grounds in Perryville, Missouri. Top spot all around for video games. Video games. Oh my god. Comic books and coffee. Affogato. That's that espresso Sunday I was talking about from a couple weeks back, and it's heavenly. Do they do they still listen to the show? Yeah. I think so. I th- well, I think that uh, David they, still does. Yeah, he I should. want to personally apologize to David because I haven't been up there in like months, and I'm sure my comic box is just overflowing. I emptied it a little bit last time I was You'll up there. You'll never empty it enough to make me happy. I know. <laughs> you have a lot of James Bond up there yeah, still. Yeah, I'm so sorry, David. Just you know, go up there and you, get it. Yeah, you know what make, would make that apology better? What's that? Going up there and buying some of well, it. Well, as soon as we start getting some money from this thing, I can afford them. Wait, this thing? <laughs> wait, it's all going to Shannon? No, he said as soon as he starts getting money from it, he yeah. ain't getting nothing. Oh, fair enough. Nope. Yeah, we're going to have to start making... We have way too many people on this cast to start divvying out money. Especially with as little as we're making, like everybody gets like a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Here my, you go. Mandy gets 50 cents. <laughs> my hope is that one day someone buys us and they're like, here's a million dollars for the name. And I'm like, cool. And Jesse and I split it and we look at the rest of you and go, oh, don't, did you guys want something? <laughs> we own the show. <laughs> I'm going to be like, uh, another match. I want another match with Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Dal- Dalton's gonna bust out like an actual switchblade. The, play. Like, the McCaffrey, go. I'll, I'm going for it. Knee. Uh, no, anyway. Uh, either way, no. It's it's a phenomenal place, and you guys should definitely oh, yeah. all go up there. I, yes. I, I love. It. Oh, uh, they do make an equivalent of a mulatte. Oh, really? Since I know how much you love mulatte. Well, I love. I'll tell you what. I know you guys I love the, that. You guys love the comics at Villainous Grounds, and that's that's great because they they're the best comic store around. But what I really love about Villainous Grounds is the other part of it is the coffee. I've I've become kind of a coffee aficionado, and I really love the coffee at Villainous Grounds. I drink coffee every day now. And every day it's not villainous grounds, <laughs> <laughs> and that makes Boy, me that's sad. True. That's uh, another reason you should apologize to David right now. Well, I'm gl- uh, part of me is glad we don't live in Perryville because I would be spending a lot of money there. I mean, in fairness, their coffee is pretty cheap. Morning. Like it's yeah, way yeah. cheaper than Starbucks. I drink a lot of it, <laughs> and Starbucks tastes like butt. You you should know every uh, every time we do like a convention and they're there, I get three four cups of coffee a day. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I same, do too. same. They get uh, me uh, hard. Yeah. They they tell me I can bring my big coffee thermos in, and they'll just charge me for a cup, and I do. Oh damn! Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah that word. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, this is okay. I probably shouldn't have said that. On yeah, air. yeah. Uh, that's this. This is uh, this well, is a PC you work there. special. You're gonna have to bleep that whole <laughs> sentence out and just hear me go word. <laughs> this is this is part of the sponsorship deal, folks. This that's is part true. of the sponsorship, and deal. it's only for Jesse Kimball. That's <laughs> in the contract. They charge me double. <laughs> The, the, the That's makes where it evens it. out. Yeah. Yeah. I get okay. witty banter and then the normal size. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on to some comic book stuff. So we got uh, DC is working on a Halloween event. It's going to be Secrets of Sinister House starting October 2nd. They need to stop doing Sinister this Sinister House! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the f- contribution. It's this time of year where they just start gimmicking up all their books every yes. year. Yeah, every but I mean, year. it's Halloween. You know, that's fine. And it and sells. It's fine. And it's honestly, it's fun. The first one that we got announced, I'm going to buy. Ghost Rider. Jonah uh, Hicks. No. You literally uh, just did a Marvel property. Do what? He said oh, Ghost Jonah. Rider. And then, and then Jonah, Jonah Hicks. Hicks. So I didn't say two. I said one. He said one. <laughs> he, he did start with a Marvel property. Uh, no, it's uh, Paul Dini is going to be writing a Harley Quinn and Zatanna story. It's about a Halloween road trip. Okay, that'll be good. I'm yeah, no, sure. I'm going to read that. <laughs> I'm going to skip it. 
I'm going to read it. Yeah. It's fine. Let me know if it's good. I like I like both of those characters, and I love Paul Dini. Since you mentioned DC, I do want to mention that I thought it was very cool that it was announced that, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, Jonathan Shake, Skek, I never know how to pronounce it. He's returning as Jonah Hex for the Crisis storyline over on uh, oh, that's the TV. Cool. I like Jonah Hex. I, I think more Jonah Hex is good. Yeah, he so, just that's he got that real bummer of a movie. Yeah, which had Michael Fassbender, which was the one Michael Fassbender role I said was kind of like yep. eh, the poor yeah, guy. Michael Fassbender, Lindsay, you didn't Megan catch Fox. a scammer yet. I know it's making me mad. Well, well, now you're definitely not going to catch yeah. it. You just backed up. I know. Okay. I told it no. And John Malkovich. It did have. That John was John Malkovich. Malkovich doing it in a Jonah Hex. Ah, that's a different story. Anyway, uh, all right. So yeah, Paul Dini writing Harley Quinn and Zatanna. I love both of those characters. So this is going to be a fun time. I love Zatanna. Um, and now another DC book. Like I actually right now I am only pulling Batman from DC mm-hmm. and technically the Watchmen books, but that's like one book every four months at this point. Yeah, Doomsday uh, just came out again. Yeah, Doomsday, Doomsday Clock, Clock eleven. They're aiming for November for twelve. Do you like the covers? It. Yes, you really do. I do. Like, is it done in the old uh, V for Vendetta or not V for Vendetta? The old Watchmen style, a little bit. Ish, yeah. Uh, but obviously, with you know some DC characters involved and right. a little bit of mix up and matching up. Uh, but yeah, no, that that'll that's supposed to finally be wrapped up in November. I'm, I it was believe supposed it to be when wrapped up in like December of last year, <laughs> the year before probably. <laughs> that's not uh, true. The first one came out November 2017. Yeah, so I think it was supposed to be done in De- like November, uh, November or December of 2018. 2018 yeah, and, and, and here, here we. Are. Here we are, November. They're hoping to be done November 2019. Good thing uh, this isn't in the Murphy verse, or else I would have had an aneurysm. Oh God. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Sean Gordon Murphy's stuff is gone, coming out on time and looking great. Good for him. Well, except yeah. for that one time, right after he <laughs> that, said the rules. Oh my God, that was funny. Oh, it was so funny. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, so uh, Tom Taylor. Yeah, we're getting another DC book. Yeah, because uh, and I'm, I'm. This is a DC book that I'm actually probably going to invest in because it's Tom Taylor. Yeah, is working on a Suicide Squad book. He will be introducing a new character by the name of Thylacine. Uh, which is like a... Is that a depression drug? It's it's an actual, like, animal. Um, oh. Like it, it, oh, yeah, I know a, the name. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon, Shannon does not know what... No, I don't know what a thylacine uh, is. I, I legitimately, if it's spelled T-H-Y-L-A-C-I-N-E. That's yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I've seen the name before. I, yeah, it said yeah. zoos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's now extinct. Well, apparently it's not at zoos. Oh, God! <laughs> There's a picture of it at a zoo. But it ain't a zoos no more. No. Uh, All right, R.I.P. Well, in memoriam at the zoo section. Chris F. <laughs> right now to pay respect to the thylacine. Yeah. Uh, either way, yeah, he's introducing a new character. And so, I mean, like Tom Taylor's introducing another character. Yeah, I'll jump in on that. extinct animal. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> he, right. he, 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 pic- he showed a picture of the character. That's Harley uh, Quinn. F- <laughs> I was going to say it's the vulture, basically, isn't it? Like well, that's Marvel. Do what? Could still be a vulture. Yeah, I guess it could be. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. But Tom Taylor uh, has just been pumping out gold. Yeah. Like, that dude has not written something I haven't liked yet. I've been catching his stuff uh, on the universe, DC Universe. Yeah, like, since All New Wolverine, anyway. Like, I haven't read anything from before that. But Oh, yeah, I'm, like, ten issues into that. Yeah, DC, uh, Deceased has been really good. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Did I you got say it on Deceased? The- yes. It's Marvel Zombies, but for DC. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and it's actually been really good. Because did um, they already do that? Wasn't that called uh, Blackest Night? Sort of. Ish, I mean, that like that was story, but yeah. yeah, it was it was some DC characters as zombies, but but not really zombies. They were yeah. just Black Lanterns. But in DC, they're straight up zombies. Yeah, that's what they should be putting out in, in October. Not a road trip between two hot girls. They'll be finishing DC in October, I think. Better I think. Be. Maybe because it's be a, a six-issue series. And Have I think a crossover issue five was where Zatanna month. and Harley Quinn are zombie are out. No, they're out on a sexy friends date with each other, and they run across zombies. Now they have to kill them. I like zombie hunters more. So anyway, uh, Tom Taylor, yeah, he's yeah. Doing it. friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. By the way, I finally got caught up on that. Uh-huh. Holy crap, that book is good. Is that the one that Asa was currently reading too? Yeah, uh, okay. Asa, Asa and I were both trying to get caught up on some back issues, like trying to find them. Gotcha. I feel uh, bad that I don't read comics anymore. I always want to. Uh, Fantastic Four, Yancey Street, number one. They did a spinoff for Fantastic Four book, and I'm going to buy all of them because, I don't know. Well, okay. I don't know. Uh, like, Fantastic Four has actually been really good. Fair enough. <laughs> like, if you were like, what's the one book you're reading? Not really Nightwing. I'm just, Now I'm just collecting covers. But, like, <laughs> Fantastic Four I've been reading. It's been good. Dan Slott's Fantastic Four, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's yeah, Shannon, that's why uh, you should read some comic books because the like comic books are so good right now but if i do that who's gonna watch the news you can do both yeah it's easy <laughs> it's 
Like, news doesn't happen, you know, every minute. Yes, it does. That's not true. 24-hour cable channels. Oh, God. That's the and issue. Boy, you never have to boy, stop watching. Do they find some newsworthy things to fill that 24-hour <laughs> Remember news Remember that cycle? one time Obama had fancy mustard? <laughs> He no, he wanted. Fancy. He wanted, oh, he yeah. wanted Dijon. Yeah, that's he, he wore tan How suit dare once. him? A man from Chicago wants Dijon mustard on his Whoa, hot dog. President wants Dijon mustard. <laughs> president anyway, Rockefeller's over thank there. Thank God we have a president now that can't spell hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I like, sorry, I like that the, was on me. I like the swerve on that one. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so moving back on the comic books. I'm sorry for the the political aspect there, folks. Um, <laughs> Back to comic books, though. We got uh, new images for the new or for the Marvel one shot incoming, which is hitting uh, December twenty sixth of What's this year. That one about? Uh, we don't know yet. Okay. Uh, they've just been doing a lot of teasers. Uh, the first one we got uh, this last week was a mysterious murder. Uh, is was the tagline on it? They've got a. Uh, all of these have like pictures inside puzzles, like a puzzle piece. Okay. Uh, with like you know a tagline on it. My guess is it was Mysterio in the office. With so, a candlestick. There's a bed that has a body covered up by a blanket, like clearly a deceased individual. Yeah. Uh, Maybe they're taking a nap. And they're surrounded by the Fantastic Four and the Avengers. Uh, the next one we got was... It, is there a Brazzers logo at the bottom? There is not. <laughs> Jesus! Uh, I'm done. A, a Glimpse of Eternity was the next one we got. Uh, had the Eternity mask and uh, had had uh, some, some defenders in there. Uh-huh. Um, then the, the most recent one we got was A Deadly Alliance that had Magneto, uh, Professor Xavier, and Apocalypse standing next to each other, all like from the House of X, Powers of Ten stuff. Oh, um, so is he back? You know, Apocalypse? Oh, uh, X. Xavier? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're Recently, reading, though, it's not. Yeah, we're reading how and why in uh, the, the Hox Pox stuff. Well, they are. Yeah, yeah, I've only been able to find one issue one of it because that's been ignorantly hard to find. Really, I didn't know you were still looking for them. I would have gotten you some other ones. That's fine. Uh, especially like while I was. I have Marvel. St. Louis. On, here's the thing: as slow as I am with reading comic books, in six months I will be free to maybe read it, and then it'll be more Marvel Unlimited. And Sadie got that subscription down, so. Well, you know, I guess that's fair. Yeah. Um. But either way, yeah, the the Hawksbox stuff is good. Um. And what yeah, I read was I liked. Xavier is back, and uh, he is um, he he looks a lot like the Maker now. Uh, like he's got this weird jumpsuit on. He doesn't have the wheelchair right now. He's wearing this helmet. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going but it's on like in that full book. face, isn't it? Do what? Yeah, the helmet. Yeah, it yeah, looks like the Maker, uh, yeah. which is the the Ultimate Universe. Reed Richards. Mm-hmm. Uh, either way, yeah, it, it's 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 been really interesting so far. I. Uh, I can't really say exactly what's going on because it's really spoiler heavy, and honestly, like nobody know knows what's exactly on, yeah. what's going on. There's lots of theories. Doomsday clock. <laughs> <laughs> um, so either way, yeah, no, we don't know much about like what this one shot is going to be. Just that it's called incoming, and uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff. That's okay. that's all we got. I might get that one shot just to see what's going on. Right. All right. And the last little bit of news we got here: uh, Marvel has partnered with Shonen Jump uh, for six new mangas featuring uh, Marvel characters. This is uh, Shonen Jump for the uh, the uninitiated. You've almost certainly heard of like Bleach, One Piece, uh, Naruto. Oh, Alchemist was a sh- Shonen Jump. Was it really? Was it? I actually didn't know. Pretty that. Much. Dragon Ball was in Shonen. A new Dragon Ball. Uh, yeah. Yu Gi Oh Yu-Gi-Oh too, isn't it? Uh, Yu Gi Oh was. Uh, Gintama. Lots uh, of manga. Jojo. Jojo's bizarre. If you've adventures. ever played a Shonen Jump game, like a, one piece. well, they're called Shonen Jump yeah, I said one games. Piece. Yeah, I said that one. They I have all the characters. <laughs> If it's it's yeah. mostly it's very male oriented comics. It, it's it's big like action stuff my like hero. Uh, my hero academia is always shown to jump. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's big like the the action stuff. Basically, the stuff that Dalton loves. Is big, all, big strong. Like, Whoa, no, there was like ten of those I didn't know. You said Dragon Ball, Yu Gi Oh. You would like every single one of the ones that we listed. Probably okay, fair. Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your ultimate muscle was a Shonen Jump thing too. If you gave me a Spider Man cross <laughs> Ultimate Muscle manga, <laughs> take my money. <laughs> I'm buying every one I find. Well, the thing about Shonen Jump, you don't you can't buy like individual things. It's yeah, no, buy, I don't know. No, I know it's a big. Book. Look, like yeah, I'm aware you, of that, but if you gave me a Spider-Man <laughs> Ultimate Muscle Marvel, I'm asking you will make me bankrupt twice. You're just gonna buy like every one of them on the stands? Cause yeah, because I want them to make a number two. <laughs> uh, I'll create. I'll create demand. <laughs> this is, just <laughs> we got a lot of demand in this one like small city in this, Missouri. No, I got a car it's and a I go wrestling. I can, very high region. I can hit up here, Illinois, maybe Arkansas, <laughs> if I get a hold of Beer 30, 
And like Sarge's, like I'll hit Tennessee. I'll buy all of them within a tri like state region. Uh, there so, you go. Important to note: this isn't the first time Marvel has dipped in the Japanese culture kind of yeah they had they, all those uh, anime on g4 they did anime um, with it i know x-men had one uh, they and they've did, also they had a wolverine specific there was a blade one, one. They had X-Men, iron man iron man um they did a punisher uh well i don't know if that was anime technically i think it was the punisher black widow movie i don't know now, yeah, was, I, I think that was technically was anime uh, uh, i mean it, it definitely had that the japanese animation style of course there was the japanese um, spider-man uh, show that yeah one. that was uh that, that was, was a, that was the thing that existed that was a thing that existed uh, I don't remember the name of the robot. Um, oh, don't. Just oh, don't God. think of it. Ah, I know. Like, You're going to hurt yourself. Just stop. Yeah, he had a big old sword. Every um, every superhero anime that went to Japan, they had to. I saw pictures from an Avengers anime. They all have mechs. Well, yeah, they, that's a rule in Japan is you have to have a mech. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for right. one of them, that makes perfect sense. Does he have a mech and a mech? Like it, I, it Tony was, Stark just running around in two? No, no. Iron Man would just built more like a mech rather oh. than. So, so Hulkbuster. Iron Man it was, it was cl- like a weird mix between the normal and like Hulkbuster. Okay. I'll say Iron Man shows up in Hulkbuster, feels powerful, and then like Thor shows up in a giant Gundam that shoots electricity everywhere. And like, that's cute. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we also had. Um, Marvel has uh, recently published a lot of like Chinese and Japanese like previously only com- or comics uh, translated and in the U.S. like brought the, brought over some uh, some uh, some uh, some superheroes basically from there, uh, which is kind of cool. So yeah, no, there lots of lots of cross partnership like making content available for everybody, and it's it's a good wonder time. if Wolverine will be one of them. Probably, yeah, more yeah. than likely. <laughs> Uh, so, so and then we do have uh, the only superhero. real thing we have on that. We don't have a date or anything for it, but the first will be written by uh, Kazuki Takahashi, uh, who is the uh, original creator of Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you. Uh, Which, when I think of great storylines, I think of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. That's fairness, a pretty good one. Me out. It was extraordinarily popular. And like the storyline was popularity and, and talent. Uh, popularity I and good doesn't go together. I only watched it for Joey no, no, and Mai because they cracked me up. Everything else was just like no. Yeah, that's I, in fairness. I think the storylines in Yu Gi Oh were pretty good. I I really liked. Well, Yu-Gi-Oh I mean, they had abridged. to have been for how big of a fan base it has. It's so big. Oh no, I remember. I was one of the kids. Like well, they still yeah. have a big fan base. Oh, I'm aware. I take the cards true. away. All, right. All the time. Yeah, they have a medium fan base. <laughs> this next portion of our podcast brought to you by our friends at Press Start to Join. You can find all of their content, including the past episodes, ps2jshow.com. Oh, and their social media links are all up there, too. Uh, and so you can find them, them playing out. Warcraft with us. We played. Really? It was Me, fun. Yeah, Josh played with us, and yeah. he was playing at an internet cafe in Canada, and he had to keep switch because his computer couldn't. All right, so Josh, is the computer in yet? Because his computer could not run Warcraft. He tried to open it and it said it wasn't compatible. Basically, that something with the 3D acceleration, if I remember correctly. It's it, also fair that this dude is running a. Uh, oh, he needs to update his graphics card driver because Krista had to do the same thing. That's true, it's, but oh he's. Oh my God, it's Warcraft. He's running all this on an, a MacBook that has uh, Microsoft on it. Like, if um, it's the computer that he's running, like, and he's had to repair that MacBook a bunch or that. I've, I think Wow works on Apple. I'm but sure. he put he put uh, Windows on it. Oh, like he does, he's not running it as a, uh, he didn't sideload, he's just straight, it's just straight a Windows machine on a MacBook. Pretty much. Because there's definitely Warcraft for Mac, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But yeah, yeah so He played from, I mean, I don't know uh, if I'm outing him on this one, and I probably shouldn't be saying all this, but I know for a fact that's I, what it I, used to be. I know some people like, well, or Alan did that I know some people two. will virtualize or like run like a side partition of Windows like on a MacBook, but. This I'm man, gonna... he played Warcraft from, I think it was 1 p.m. to 4.30 in the morning at this I internet cafe. Because I crashed way before that. Yeah. That sounds Ooh. awesome. No, I ain't got that kind of patience anymore. Ooh. But it was fun, and I hope to play with him again. All right. Uh, so anyway. And Jesse, he's back. Yeah, uh, I, I played with them a little bit last night. We're going to have that Podzilla 1985 guild soon. Yeah. What's the name so of that guild? It's probably going to be, uh, well, Podzilla if Josh is still down, <laughs> it's going to be Press Start to Zilla. That's what it is. Uh, also the name of a new show. All right, so before I get to the Nintendo Direct, because that's obviously the big news here, uh, I'm going to talk about a couple of other little things, and then we'll just close out with the uh, the Nintendo Direct, because it was a huge Direct. Uh, so we got multiplayer confirmed for Cyberpunk 2077 post-launch. I don't want that. Uh, it depends on how they're going to do it. Is it going to be... Do you, do you think it's just going to be like deathmatchy stuff, or is it actually going to be co-op storyline stuff? I have no idea. Because that's my thing. If it's a If it's a play together in this world, cool. If it's a... 
make your character pick pick a subclass or you know like a template or whatever, and then go and just kill each other. I'm not interested. I've already got enough games to kill my people with. I mean, it would be cool, like uh, especially depending on how the world works. Like if they did something like you know GTA's online or something like that, where you just kind of run around the huge world they built and do stuff. As long as there's something to do other than just kill each other. <clears throat> no, I agree. That was the biggest difference between GTA 4 and GTA 5, you know? Yeah, yeah. So there's got to be something to do other than just that. All right. Uh, and then we got uh, Borderlands 3 got a launch cinematic trailer we mentioned at the beginning of the show, so we'll come back here with uh, what Shannon will talk about with Gears and stuff. Uh, but yeah, the launch cinematic trailer looks great like it always will. It comes out on Friday. I'm uh, like beyond hyped for this game. Like, Asa has already invited himself over to my house. Uh, he's going to spend the night. Dalton, you're welcome to come, too. Um, I got a show. Sounds like you need to skip, homie. I can't. It's Borderlands. <sighs> We're going to be so far ahead of you. So it's going to be like our playthrough of Borderlands 2? Our most recent one? <laughs> I, in fairness, like me and Trevor were the only ones that got, a, got ahead of you. Uh, anyway, so I'm really, really excited for this game. Shannon, what were you, what were you going to say at the beginning of the, the show? Uh, well, two things. Actually, I have two little things. One, sure, I want to throw out that if you're a player of Red Dead Online, which I am, uh, I don't know if you have it in notes, I don't think you mentioned it, that Tuesday they are adding the Big Summer Update, which uh, adds in three new roles to play. Like they're actually giving you oh, I did missions hear about stuff like that, that. Bounty yeah. Hunter, Collector, and Trader. So it's really opening up the game to more stuff where it's not just run in and dick around, mm. mess around for. Can I say that? Is that okay? Um, you give me a pass on that I'll, one. I'll give you a pass okay. on that one because that, that, that still you can get away with that on PG thirteen. We call that a yellow flag. Yeah, I'll, I'll be careful. Um, but it, it comes out this Tuesday, and the, the thing I want to mention especially is if you are a Twitch Prime subscriber because these jobs are going to cost fifteen gold a piece. And if you play the game, you know gold costs money unless you want to grind for it. If you are a Twitch Prime subscriber and you link your accounts, you get the Bounty Hunter for free. If you're on PlayStation, you get the Trader for free just for being on PlayStation. I'm on Xbox, thank God. And then if you play GTA on, GTA 5 online and you collect all 54 cards, you get the Collector for free. So just want to throw that out there. The other thing is Gears of War came out over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And I played one match of Horde. And I, I asked you guys this before. I said, is there any, been anything that you played and you really loved back when you were younger and then you play it? You know, yeah, this is, this is where we got uh, derailed yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah. And, and you kind of think to yourself, you know, oh, it's not, eh, I just don't feel the same. I kind of feel that way about Gears of War. Like, it's fun, but when I was done with the Horde match, I didn't miss it. You know, like it wasn't like when I played Gears of War 3, I loved Horde. I used to play it all the time. Yeah, I, I remember that. Constantly. Yeah. Um, and since everything's tied to the online, I know Hunter was having problems with this because I was too. The first day it came out, I couldn't load a match. I couldn't load any multiplayer matches. I couldn't load the single player campaign. The single player campaign. Yeah. The Hunter's fact, had it crash on three, four times. The fact that that's tied to online is just real silly. That's Diablo 3 levels of stupidity. Yeah. Which, yeah, well, yeah, here we are. He did that. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's all I wanted to mention. No, Otherwise, Gears looks gorgeous, and it is a lot of fun. It's like Borderlands. If you like Gears, you will love Gears 5. If you like Borderlands, you will love Borderlands 3. I'm going to play Gears 4 still. 4 is very skippable. <laughs> Just yeah. throwing that out there. Yeah, I, I still need to play. I haven't played Gears since Gears 1. Like I've talked about it before, me and Trevor uh, played through Gears 1, had a whole lot of fun with it. Then we, we played Gears 2, and it was just like, okay, this is basically the same game. Uh, as as yeah, Gears one like and so Gears. we were just we we couldn't get into it because we just didn't care about the story or anything like that and the gameplay honestly wasn't uh, that uh, wasn't fun enough for us to want to play all the way through it three was a masterpiece uh, we were way more into Halo see and I swear to God I'm not trying to be that guy but what you just said about that is pretty much how I feel about Borderlands when Borderlands two came out I played it and I was like well this is fun it feels a lot like the first game I don't know I'm just not as into this as everybody else so I. I, I'm not picking up Borderlands 3 yet, but I'm sure once I see you guys play it, I will. Um, because yeah, I know you like looter shooters. I do like looter shooters, but with Warcraft come out, the last thing I want to do is distract myself with something else when I'm dedicated to it. You know? No, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, like, wow, classic. Like, I have put a pretty good amount of time into it since I resubscribed, you know, yesterday. It's a thing. <laughs> we are already having the same problem we always have of, let's try something else. Like, I like to have multiple characters. I like I, to have options. Yeah, I already have three characters, and only one of them is level 10. <laughs> Thumbs up. All right. yeah. That's I all think, I got. I think we've, I've made it to like 15 on my highest so far. <laughs> 16 here. Because uh, I keep making characters to play with other people. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah. I saw when you got offline, I saw Krista jump on. Oh, did, you guys, did you play with Krista? Yeah. Is she Horde? Yeah, she's Horde. <laughs> yeah, basically I figured I was Don't really behind you guys anyway. So, uh... 
Yeah, I figured I'll, I'll uh, I was gonna try and get caught up with you guys today, and then yeah, go play Horde with her last night. I say play whatever you want on there because the last thing you want to do is not play a character because you don't want to. You know, that sucks when you're like, I want to play this character, but I can't because my friends aren't playing. I don't want to get too higher than them, but I don't want to play any other you character. Do it anyway. I just won't play the game, especially for these quests where you have to go and like get so many of whatever because it takes forever. It does. Now. There was one item that I don't know. Do you really really quick? Oh, I was, made him mad last night. There was one item that's supposed to drop in a quest for a druid, and we were in the area did it. Allie and I did it for like 30 minutes, couldn't find it. Lindsay found it in two minutes. <laughs> then a guy posted in chat and said an hour and four effing minutes later it finally dropped for me. Welcome to WoW Class. Ooh, yeah, no, that's uh, that's that's the good old times. All right, so with the last 15 minutes of the show here, let's knock out this... Uh, I don't know why he invites me. This Nintendo we Classic. 15 minutes? I'm awful for this. That's 15 awesome. Minutes. 15 minutes to cover a 40 minute direct. That's fine. Easy I mean, peasy. all right. I don't know how to play Banjo Kazooie yet because it ba- that confuses me. Banjo all right, all right. And so we're just we're just gonna go we're just gonna go in order here. Uh, Overwatch coming to Switch October fifteenth, twenty nineteen. I'll buy it. I'm buying it. Uh, Derek's buying high it. High five. <laughs> like I, it's one of those things I want to buy it, but I I I, I you have to sit there and decide. So like so many other things. Do I want to buy the game a fifth time? Yes. Do you want to start over because you know you're not gonna be able to carry over? Well, you've only bought yeah, it. Not gonna be able to take my skin. You've only bought it three times. There's literally how. How did you buy it? He has no, 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 no has time. Multiple, oh, you're trying I, to get I out have of two it. accounts on PC. Yeah. What the? F- yeah. Did you not know that? No. How? He has another account so he can play against low level people so he can dominate. You have them. a Smurf account. I made a Smurf account so I could play with a friend of mine that was in bronze. Oh. Okay. Uh, because I was literally too far ahead of them, him in competitive, to play competitive with oh, him. So okay. Jesse plays blindfolded and still. How are you not? A, <laughs> how are you not a Patriots fan? <laughs> Why would that make me a Patriots fan? Oh, I don't know. They Deflate smart? the ball a little bit. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, it's just it, the ball's a little under. The, ma- the matchmaking, it's not, not like, enough to affect anything. The easy matches went away really fast. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, uh, okay, because Tom. I know it does. Like you, the way matchmaking ranking works, like you have that outside of competitive too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, like I play like I played like three matches against actual scrubs, and then the game's like, oh, this guy actually knows what he's doing, and then I. And then you call somebody them. from another team to start like call the GM a, a racial slur, and we'll we'll sign you, and then that'll be. Dalton does understand the analogy. He, he you're doesn't to make. know because he's one of the scrubs you beat. Probably. Many, That's not fair. Times. I was pretty good towards the end of it. Uh, and I have a pro controller, so like it's gonna like not affect <laughs> me at all. <laughs> Uh, I just exactly have to remap that A and B button, and I'll be golden. But point is, I'm buying it. Same. Yeah, I, I it's going to pr- be 60 frames a second. Look what they did with Diablo. Great on Switch. Paladins, really good on Switch. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be great. Like, And if it's Faithful. if it's only like 20 or $30. $40. Oh. But it's the Legendary Edition. You get all of the like the skins and stuff. But I, you know, if, if only I could link my account. Yeah. If you could link I your account. So and then skins. Yeah. I would still pay the $40, but give me what I've already got. Yeah. Please, please give me everything I've got on PC. Wow. I can't see like, and here's my thing with uh, I almost said Borderlands. Here's my thing with Overwatch. Overwatch. That's a different. Game. I can't see ninety percent of that skin. I can see the gun in the right hand. No, and that's, that's why you got to emote constantly, like I do. Every uh, time. <laughs> no, the, the skins you do it to flex on other people. Yeah. Oh my God, we're not playing Fortnite. No, we're not. No, we're let's, playing Overwatch. Playing let's be hand. adults. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. We got some Luigi's Mansion three gameplay. That one's hitting October thirty first. Buying it. Uh, Buying it. That's gonna be fun. Plus, it showed off the uh, the dungeon creator, uh, where you can actually make like uh, little dungeons that people can come and play it and stuff. Looks kind of neat. I'm just gonna play. I'll Luigi. do it. Uh, I'll do we it. got uh, Super Kirby Clash gameplay. Uh, it's gonna be free to start. It's actually out right now. I tried it. Uh, yeah, fun. It's okay. That's Fair a enough. no. It's it's basically it's a boss rush mode multiplayer. Yeah, but it starts off super. It's just super easy and pointless. I'm sure once it gets harder, it's more fun. But uh, yeah, and I first know, levels like, are rough. Uh, free to start always concerns me because I know like you, you got to spend money eventually to keep playing. Is yep. my understanding. Uh, it looked kind of fun though. Uh, Trials Mana HD remake. We got an official date on that. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks so good, right? I, I legitimately when I was a kid, when I was younger, uh, and I first got into emulation and stuff. Mm. Uh, Seiken Detsetsu Three was one of my favorite games. I had a fan translation. I never thought I would see a, a, a legitimate translation in America, and the fact that it's being redone. Yeah, because uh, it's it not just a port or anything like no. that that's being translated. Like it's actually a full HD remake of the game. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely picking that up. April 24th, 2020. It looks really so. Good. I'm not gonna live that long. Uh, <laughs> it's it's not yeah, that far away. Same. It's 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 already oh. September of 2019. Oh God, <laughs> my year. <laughs> we might we might live to see this day. Oh. Uh, the return of Obra Dinn. Uh, it's a I guess a new IP announced coming out fall 2019. Mm-hmm. It's a mystery solving game. 
It looks uh, interesting. It, it does look really interesting. You go on this this boat and you look through memories and stuff, trying to solve the mystery of why the boat crashed. Yeah. Uh, sounds really neat. Uh, Dalton will not like it. No, it sounds like a Lindsay Alley game. Very much. Yeah. yeah. Cat I, Quest. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, F Cat you. Quest 2 does come out this year. <laughs> I didn't play Cat Quest, thank you. That's Allie's game. And Sadie's, in fairness. <laughs> Anywho, uh, we got in. Uh, we got Little Town Hero. We finally got some uh, gameplay for that. That's actually coming out way sooner than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think that looked that good. I'm no, it looks terrible. It's Game Freak's new game, the, the Pokemon guys. Which uh, I expected better. It yeah. looks really bad. October 16th, 2019 is when it's coming out. It looks like Pokemon with more steps. Yeah, the whole go near townspeople to ha- they'll help you. No, it, it sounded what? super weird. Like yeah, because they they made it sound like almost like you could recruit people to your team, but you really can't. No, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't like but it. it looks terrible. Not a fan. Uh, it it looks like a 3ds game again. Like I don't I don't game freak. Get your stuff together. Uh, Banjo Kazooie, uh, Banjo and, and Kazooie. Kazooie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the game name is Banjo Kazooie. The, the characters, characters are Banjo, Banjo and Kazooie. Kazooie. Yeah. Do we all know what this um, means right here? Shouldn't the game have been called Banjo and Kazooie then? No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, either way, yeah, it, it, it came out like they announced it, and it was out right then for Smash. Well, not right then. It was no, like no, it took a while because yeah. So you think if they're gonna make that that new Sony PlayStation All Stars, they'll put in ukulele as a joke? <laughs> as like, a oh god, oh, that would be funny. The levels of petty <laughs> plays like, the exact same well, way, and then they'll be, be like, funny. well, it's yuka and a lele, <laughs> and then I'll be like, <laughs> double bird, not just so, one bird, <laughs> two birds, <laughs> and they also announced uh, character five. Going to be Terry Bogard from Yay. Fatal Fury. I'm so pro- Sp- Mike Spees, if you're listening, I can't say what you are of the week this week, but you'll, <laughs> you'll know on Thursday. Terry Bogard belongs in this game as much as Ryu, as much as Ken, any classic character. He started on Super Nintendo. He's one of the forefathers of the fighting game genre. Terry Bogard is solid. You know, SNK was like, that was that was one of the big names back in the day for yeah, fighting games. I thought it was some fighters. random dude that tried to trade stuff in here for cash. No, that was, <laughs> no. That was, that was, that was Terry Bogart. <laughs> Different guy. Very different guy. Uh, no, either way, yeah, Terry Bogart is going to hit November 2019. Nintendo also confirmed. Please, God, let him be fun. Because um, mm-hmm. when they put Simon, when Simon and uh, Richter was in the game, I, I was like, I'm so excited for him. And I'm okay with them, but I'm not great. Because they're heavy zoners, and that's yeah. not how you play. No, and I want Terry Bogart to be. I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, Terry Bogard should not be his owner. Okay. Uh, I, I, I would be very surprised. I would uh, be so happy if they did that to him just to tick off Shannon. Shut your mouth, Kazooie. They also did confirm that. Oh, do you mean Aunt uh, Kazooie? <laughs> No, you're just Kazooie. You're just Kazooie. <laughs> uh, anyway, they did confirm that uh, they're going to do more characters beyond the fifth. That's exciting. Uh, so, yeah, it won't just be because the Fighters Pass that we originally paid for like got us five characters, plus we already had you know Plant. They confirmed that uh, whoever they haven't announced who the next one's going to be, but it will be there will be more beyond that. And I want to yes, say, oh, who's Hero? He's from Dragon Quest. Dra- yeah. Oh, okay, that's why I didn't. Know. There's the four different, there's, and Quest. there's four different ones yes. you can pick from um, from different Dragon Quest games. I, okay, thank I, you. I, was I just worried didn't know when they put the DLC in that they were going to put in. Um, well, when they announced Piranha Plant as the first one, mm-hmm. I was kind of like, "Oh, is this what we're going to get? We're going to get just a bunch of like rando Nintendo characters, which is fine." But then they hit you with like Joker, and I was like, "That's pretty cool." Dragon Quest Hero, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Banjo Kazooie was phenomenal. Terry Bogart, I mean, that's just very very cool. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm excited to see who else they're going to put in the game because they're going all over the place. With they it. are. They're not everywhere. like yeah. Because I was I was expecting the same thing. You know, just Nintendo characters yeah. all over the place. And yeah, no, it's been. I mean, like you some of them have had like characters in Nintendo games. Like Terry Bogard but, was in Fatal Fury on right. Nintendo. Uh, if you tell me one person that thought, yeah, I bet they put Terry Bogard in. Not a soul. not a single person. Not a single person. Because Sora's not in it yet. <laughs> and won't Hi. be. Ooh, um, <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be. Either way. Um, I like to show more when you're not here. Thank you. Link's Awakening gameplay. Uh, September 20th, 2019. I have no idea who that could possibly Probably be. Probably Calvin. It's uh, a Monday. We're closed. Right? Uh, anywho. So we got uh, we got a little bit more of the uh, Link's Awakening gameplay. And like I said, October 20th, 2019 was when that was coming out. They talked about the uh, the chamber dungeon, another dungeon building thing. Oh, it's Steven. Uh, that you can actually save to. If I had known you were here, I would have brought those shoes for you. Um, <laughs> anywho. <Is it> random? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. 
yeah, we got the chamber dungeon uh, thing where basically it's another thing you can create dungeons for your friends to go through and save them to in, like uh, Zelda themed amiibos. It's it's like Mario Maker almost, just a much lesser degree. But yeah, it was like one of the cool. first shows I was on. We were talking about that because Mario Maker just come at, came out, and we were just like, they should do that for Zelda. And I was like, that would be the most confusing thing in the and world. And this could maybe even be a precursor to a Zelda. Dungeon it could be. Maker. Yeah, see how yeah. popular it is, and yeah, go from there. Uh, and I'm boy, I'm excited about that game. It looks so good. Oh, it's so much fun. And that amiibo, all oh, that amiibo. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got a Dragon Quest 11 S gameplay. I'm buying it. Uh, it's going to come out September 27th, 2019. There's a free demo out right now. And that demo is about five hours long. Really? Yeah, it nice. is huge. Uh, and then I'll have free DLC at launch. And yeah, no, I'm probably going to get this too because it's another one of those things like they did like full texture remakes and everything yep. else. It looks so pretty. And the 2D mode looks a lot of fun. The 2D mode looks so cool. That's a lot of fun. Oh, uh, we got uh, extra excited side of it. We got the Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, DLC trailer. Cool. Hit today. Yeah. Hit I still don't know what the hell it's about. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, we got a uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE Encore confirmed for the Switch. Mm. January 17th, 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, not really much there's to say about a, there's that. There's a game a, that's not for anybody at this table. Uh, Maybe, Lindsay. No. I mean, it does have Fire Emblem characters in it. Yeah, dancing. <laughs> well, and, and Which I don't understand dancing, why uh, they're pop stars. It's I don't either. Yeah, like apparently weird. that game was really fun. It's the port of the Wii U version yeah, with some extra stuff. I'm sure it is fun, but I literally saw a clip where I believe it was Crom fist bus fist bumped another character on a dance floor, and I was like, my yeah. I mean, my if there was, version. <laughs> if there was any broy character in Fire Emblem, Be Crom, 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 and, Crom and a bro. Uh, you, no, that's not that's new. Crom is anyway. Deadly Premonition Two got an announcement. It's going to be available in 2020. Uh, and then Deadly Premonition Origins uh, is available on the eShop right now. Right now. Stealth dropped. Yep, stealth dropped it. Uh, Along with Divinity 2. Yep. Which is probably on there. I'm sorry. I forgot. Divinity about Original yeah. Sin 2 Definitive Edition announced and released. That's crazy. Yeah, that was nuts. Came out of nowhere. And it will have Steam cross save. So if crazy you have too. it on Steam, yeah, you can move Which the I saves do. back and forth. Uh, I've own- I owned it on Steam and then returned it. You did. We tried to get you to play with us. I think you did yeah. once. I did once. Uh, I did not realize that uh, my characters were exclusive to that game. Oh, yeah. Uh, you started with us in the online? Yep. Steven, uh, you play it, don't you? Which one? Divinity 2? Yeah. Okay. I just want yeah. confirmation. So, uh, yeah, no. like It's a great game. Not for me, though. It's not a game for me. Uh, see, Doom 64 port's been confirmed. Buying it. Uh, Only November, Doom I never played. November 22nd of 2020. I never got to play it originally. Whoa. So I'm excited. That's a while. That's a, that's a is, way out is there. A, like, it, it's very opposite of a lot of the rest of the you stuff. Said, you said November 22nd. One. I was like, well, I mean, that'll be after October. I might be done with Borderlands 3 if there's no DLC coming out yet. Hey, it's still after October, buddy. <laughs> You'll Two definitely be done with Borderlands 3 by then. No, uh, there'll be DLC. DLC. <laughs> yeah, and a different character at that point. Probably. Yeah. Um, we also got a Rogue Company announcement. It's going to be an objective-based... Uh, Team PvP game looks kind of neat. I'll keep my eye on it. Uh, yeah, no, it looks kind of cool. And then we got Pokemon Sword and Shield news. Yay! Uh-huh. Boy. You I can, get to customize my character again. And you can yeah. cook now in the Pokemon got, pot. Yeah, I saw that. They basically brought back uh, the the berry blocks, but it's curry. Are they going to make Pikachu gumbo? Yes. Yeah. Pika Pikachu gumbo. Uh, Pika gumbo. Well, because one, like por- one of them is like pork curry. And it's one of those things. Like, it is. Not, are you serious? Yeah. It's Seth's uh, least so successful comp or yeah, you're, brother. You're just like I, 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 one of the memes I saw about. It, I was like, oh god, has anybody seen uh, what is a sporkle? I think. Spoink. Spoink. Swino. Anybody, anybody seen Spoink? Swi- swino. <laughs> Grumpig. Yeah. Hey, we need, we need to make some pork curry. Hey, let me see that swine up. No. <laughs> uh, see, so yeah, we got the Catch another one. In order for what they they showed off, there's the expanded character customization features. Thank God, I love um, that. <laughs> So yeah, you do get to do get to dress up your characters a little bit more. Uh, I just want my character to, to be styled. I, I hate games where you are forced into and they this get, is your character. there's more yeah. hair and options yeah. and stuff this time. It's not yeah. just which color do you want it to be. Yeah, a lot more hair options, a lot more like options on every article of clothing as opposed you to just like pants and time. shirts. No. Um, but you still can't mess with their underwear. <laughs> well, Good. Uh, that is a personal problem on yep. your end. Cannot mess with the a very personal on the problem. Year old kids, yeah, a very personal uh, problem 12? that I want you to keep to yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> if if they're old enough to be sent out into the world by themselves to live. Nope. I feel like nope. the age of consent in the Pokemon world is probably pretty low at this point. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 18. I mean, it's, it's no Romeo and Juliet law. Nope. If the, I mean, if they're just out there, like, you know. Living the uh, life. <laughs> if, if they're out there living, like, life expectancy has got to be real low in the Pokemon world. Well, you're 25. I mean, you're a grandpa. Well, that's why there's eight people and 
thirty thousand Pokemon. You just just imagine like how often like you just get people randomly crushed by onyxes. <laughs> like, <laughs> lots of ten year olds going out and dying out in the wild these days. Yeah, yes, dying. Not exploded. anything else. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like Geodudes and Voltorbs, like just taking people out. Anyway, um, so we also got uh, the Pokemon Camp. Uh, you can you can set up a camp, play with your Pokemon. You can join players' camps in the wild areas. That that's really cool. I like that feature. It's kind of neat. So uh, and you can have your Pokemon just run around and stuff. You can decorate your camp a little bit. I broke him. Don't pay attention to him. Yeah, no, it's fine. I, I'm moving. He's past a bad it. person. Uh, we got yeah the curry making thing as well as introducing the curry decks as you discover <laughs> recipes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, you can save them. For I think I'm skipping reference. Pokemon this time. Look, no one ever said they came up with good names. No, uh, I mean they're bad guys. Are Team Yell. Yeah. Team Jesus. And they are they are a hype crew for your rival this time. Yeah. I'm just facing a bunch of Flava Flaves. Is that what I'm hearing? It's, it's the entire kind of. of VH1. Although I did see someone make some oh. uh, fan uh, Galar region variants to mm. go with them, and it was awesome. Oh, fair because enough. they made, like, we already have the, the Kiss Badger. Well, they made, like, a Bowie Clefable. Oh, and that's then, pretty like, cool. And then, like, a biker version of uh, Exploud. And they were awesome. No, that's kind of awesome. All right. Nope. Hmm. Uh, so we also got uh, we, we got a couple of new Pokemon. Uh, Pol T Geist. Yeah. I didn't get to see that one. I didn't get, is it a rat? A Please tell me. It's a ghost inside no, a teapot, it is, basically. It is the ghost in a teapot. And if Pol it likes you. Pol T Geist, Jesus. And if it likes you, it will share its tea with you. No! That's <laughs> gross! <laughs> You're drinking ghost tea! <laughs> Out of a no. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's worse than Rowlet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure so that's, much. Isn't so that much enjoy my innards, Master? <laughs> that's just ectoplasm, isn't As it? As I'm wearing my Rowlet T-shirt. <laughs> I love Rowlet, but that's still creepy. I'm sorry. Uh, just so, turns around. Hi, Master. <laughs> no. What you want me to do, Master? You have uh, to say Master after it makes it way worse. Yeah, I'm not gonna. That do is that. the dumbest. Li- what is that? <laughs> Night, it's, ew, it's purple. It's and why is it lounging looking. inside it's of the tube? <laughs> it's, it's a it's ghost. It's a ghost. It's hanging on the It was substantially and if worse. It you, uh, out of its spout, it'll it'll. Yes, uh, <laughs> drink this purple goo drink from my inside essence. me. <laughs> it'll be tea, probably. No, what tea is purple? Tea <laughs> virus. We don't know that it's purple. Uh, all right. So, yeah, no, it's a real dumb. And then if you thought that was as dumb as it could get. The pelican-esque bird that, like, throws up fish at you. I like that one. I like that one. Ramorant. Do I have to it's, eat the throw up? Its special ability is gulp missile. Uh, if you, if you I had use, that in college a couple times. <laughs> if you use any ability that, like, uh, puts it underwater, like surf, okay, it'll come back up with a fish in its mouth. And if you attack it while it's got a fish in its mouth, it'll launch the fish at you. Oh, good. That's what I like in my Pokemon, a counterattack. <laughs> and it looks like, uh, you know, the the meme of, like, the, the seagull that's got its head back and then, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, it, no. It, 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 that's exactly it like what it that. looks like. It's that's pretty awesome. funny. Like Game that. freak, you lazy, lovely uh, humans. Y'all you. doing it right. Y'all doing right. it right. So they also announced SNES Online. So we got the, the Super it's Nintendo Online stuff. It's out now. You got 20 games that are out right now with a bunch of solid titles on there. Uh, it will be included in Switch Online. They announced the, Sw- or the SNES Online controller, uh, which is just a straight up Super Nintendo controller that, um, you know, it's. Bluetooth. Yeah, Except Bluetooth they're like controller. Account like, it's official. Well, it, you have to have a Nintendo Online account yes, to buy it. Because you oh, can okay. only buy it from Nintendo.com and yes. you have to do it, yeah, from there. And did you see the caveat added to that? The, no. the asterisk to the Nintendo Online service? No. They just changed this over the weekend. I'm being dead serious. Before, you got a set of games every month, right? Mm-hmm. Every month, new games. They're doing away with it. They said from now on, they're just going to put games up pretty much whenever they feel like it. So you are no longer guaranteed games per month. You will get games when they want to give them to you. Yeah, but they're also not taking away any games anymore. They're not. Yeah. No. But that's really weird in that I know they won't, but theoretically, you could go two, three months without getting a game. And in that case... What are you paying for? Their terrible, terrible online service? Yeah, pretty much. You've played Smash Brothers. You've played Smash Brothers. You know how bad it is. Oh, it's, it's it was tolerable online. whenever I played with Marco and Logan. I mean, it's not like the worst that it's ever been, but it ain't great. It's nowhere near like other services you pay for, like hey. Microsoft or Sony. You know? I mean, but you're also paying literally a fraction of the cost. But in fairness, a lot of, that is, a lot of that is more like on Smash than it is Nintendo service. Because yeah. Smash, like for whatever reason, they're like, let's do peer-to-peer. Uh, where every other competitive fighting game on the market is on dial-up. Is, <laughs> is there a clue? 
Uh, oh, you played Mortal Kombat 11 online yeah. too? In, yeah, Mortal Kombat. Well, yeah, Mortal Kombat, uh, Injustice, etc. All of their online stuff. It's it's server. Like they have dedicated hosts. Yeah. And, uh, it's not peer to peer. Peer to peer is so dumb. Um. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the SNES controller looks really good though. I want it. Uh, it's yeah. thirty bucks, but you uh, you do have to buy it from Nintendo, and you have to have an online account to get it, which. On the bright side, means that it's not no going to go out. Yeah, yeah. Scalpers aren't going to go out and grab them all. You say um, that, but what's to stop someone from buying a Nintendo account, buying like a little co- uh, a four dollar card for one month, buying a controller, and then selling the controller for extra money online? They got to spend four dollars and make a whole bunch of accounts. They could. I mean, they could. But either we're, way, we're from the World of Warcraft area, where yeah. the gold sellers literally create level one accounts to spam gold. True, uh, but that's way easier. Yeah, especially once they made it free to make characters up to level twenty. Yeah, but they can't they can't shout anymore. Oh, nice! Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, all right, moving up, Sorry. moving past it here. Tetris ninety nine has got an update that's out now. Uh, they added a bunch of stuff to it, including like local arena mode and a bunch of themes and other stuff. Uh, Great game. The paid DLC is uh, out and available and everything. Uh, Mario and Sonic Tokyo twenty twenty Olympic Games got uh, gameplay on uh, November fifth, twenty nineteen. Uh, did you see the retro versions of the games? I might buy this, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what that like yeah, comments was. It looks uh, fun. Yeah, no, it does look really fun. Like it looks like a, a retro... super fun party game. And then yeah. yeah, the retro stuff looks super neat. Yeah, retro versions of all the characters going through these like sp- special mini games that are retrofied. Damn it! <laughs> it looks so cool. I know. I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm like, man, am I about to buy Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? Never bought one before. No, nah, me neither. Oh. Like, I've never even messed with it before. I was oh. like, this looks like lame Mario Party. Yeah, but this looks fun. I think this we, looks super we fun. tried the first one well, when yeah, it we came got, out. We, well, because we had that Wii deal. We were at GameStop. We uh-huh. just took games on oh, and burned them. Right. Yeah. Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about uh, it. After the show. That doesn't X sound Monica, like a deal. Uh, Damon X Monica Machina. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> That's the, episode, yeah, that's, that's the worst episode. Yeah, that's the worst episode of Friends. <laughs> uh, anyway, the prologue demo is available for free now. You can grab it, and uh, all of that data will transfer over to the full version of the game. I'm gonna download that. I have it pre-ordered, and I really liked the demo. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and the full game is coming out September 13th, so four days from like this recording. Not only that, but I believe the Sega Genesis Mini comes out the same day. Does it really? Or it's this week at least, I believe. Man, I do want to buy the or Sega next Genesis week, next Mini. Week, next week. Uh, I just need to. I can't buy it and Borderlands out of the same paycheck. That's just irresponsible. But you know I'm going to buy it. You can try it out. See oh, what I mean, you think. I, I, I want it. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, anyway, because uh, I do love me some Sega. He's going to buy it. He's going to buy it. Yeah. All He's right. going to buy it. Uh, Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is getting a port to the Switch. Okay. I Yeah, it's super random, but I, I was really happy with it because I loved that game. I did yeah. too, but like, oh my God, you're putting that game out now on the Switch? That makes no sense. Also, I will be buying it. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> Just so you know. That was that was classic, Shannon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jedi Knight 2 is so good. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. And I'm so excited about that game. Like some of the best lightsaber combat like in a uh, like uh, console Star Wars game. Agreed. You could so actually fun. dismember people you with could. the lightsaber. And you could throw lightsabers at them and just cut like lines of people off. I was gonna yeah, say was so fun. uh Star Wars Battlefront on the Xbox One. Best lightsaber cut. No, it was horrible. Yeah, it was. Uh, None of those have been good. Because I thought you were going with Force Unleashed, which had pretty good lightsaber. Oh, man. I, no, no, no. I would never talk ill about those games. Those They're are my so babies. really good. Uh, anyway, uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt uh, got a release date October 15th, 2019. We got to see a little bit more about that port. Want to buy it? No, um, I'm gone. No, Assassin's Witcher, no. Creed Rebel Collection was announced. I'll buy that. I might buy that. Yeah. Um, no, no, there's no might. include Black Flag and Rogue, plus all the DLC. Those are my like two favorite Assassin's one. Creed games. I love being a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> you could be an Irish uh, Templar in Rogue. So they, I've never played Rogue. They showed off more of Dauntless, uh, which is going to be an online free-to-play game similar to Monster Hunter. Uh, have you played okay. it? Uh, no, I haven't it's tried It's okay. It I've got it on Xbox One. It's okay. Uh, yeah, it, I, I remember seeing videos for it a bunch. It looks really fun. It's Monster Hunter. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's Monster Hunter, but it's free. Uh, Just Dance 2020 got a release date, November 5th, 2019. For the Wii, probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, kidding. No, for the Wii U and the Switch. I'm, say, um, I'm not kidding. No, I think they have officially stopped publishing games for the the, the Wii U, even though I know last year's game did come out on the Wii Jesus. and Wii U. Um, anyway, Grid Auto Sport uh, got a release date, 9 19, 19. Uh, Farming Simulator got a release date, December 3rd, or December 3rd 2019. Uh, you know, the rest of these are all 2019, unless I specifically say otherwise. Jeff, so we're just going to move Jesse, I just it. confirmed uh, Just Dance 2020 is coming to the original Wii. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just a video and then some motion. I, it's yeah, super easy. But it's, it's, uh, yeah, seriously. You know, you can save a lot of money and just do it, put them up on YouTube. 
Like all those videos end up on you. You could just dance along to the YouTube clip because it's just kids. They don't know whether they're winning or losing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, farming simulator. Nino Cooney got a port. Uh, September twentieth. Uh, NBA 2K20 is coming September, so it's out now. Yep. Yeah, say it's already out. Uh, Idris Elba really is Elbow in the story mode, so yes. I might be buying that today. I've, I've heard it's well, good. Heard it's in the Switch version, from what I understand, the reviews I saw, great. The 19 oh, port was fine. It was good. That was harmless. Uh, Call of Cthulhu, uh, October 8th, 2019. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really that. cool. I like, um, I like Cthulhu. See, we got, a, we got a video for The Outer Worlds. We didn't get anything other than just soon. I'm going to get that. <laughs> Any of these you ain't getting, Shannon? Just uh, dance. Just dance. <laughs> <laughs> he got that. Uh, Devil May Cry 2 got a release date, uh, September 19th. Not getting that. Uh, Vampire, October 29th. For that. Uh, I'm really surprised you're not getting Vampire. It's on Xbox One oh, on the Game enough. Pass. Uh, oh, yeah. No, definitely fair enough. Yeah. All right. So the one of the big things we got here, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We got some gameplay for that. Yeah. Animal Crossing was one of those games I really enjoyed New Leaf on the 3DS. Mm -hmm. uh, this one I was going to probably just, it was going to be a scratch for me. Uh I might have grabbed it like on the cheap at some point if that ever happened. Then they showed off some of the gameplay. They yeah. have introduced crafting into Animal Crossing. Bye, Lindsay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay's gone. Yeah, no. Uh, no, Nook has all new ways to make you go broke now. Yeah. Uh, I'm he's looking a, at this like it, the they're really they're really making this game for the millennials. They did it for us when we were kids, and that well for you guys, young adults. Right. <laughs> Nook gets a bad rap. That dude, dude is out here offering interest-free housing loans, pay whenever you he feel. He's providing a service. I wish someone would come to me and be like, here's this brand new house. Just pay me when you can. Yeah, no interest. Just hit me up as you get some cash. Of course, he does text you every other day. Like, hey, guy. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Did you get any cash? He doesn't, though. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't buy You're right. Home. We're talking about real world. It's just, just, oh, it's no. just whenever you go in his store. You're right. <laughs> Rossetti's the jerk. Do what? Rossetti's the jerk. Rossetti is a little bit Only of a jerk. Only because you pushed his hand. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you pushed oh, the game. Uh, so yeah, either way, yeah, they, so they added crafting. Uh, they have got eight-player co-op uh, in the game that they talked about. It's going to be out March 20th, 2020. And, yeah, no, it, it looks like uh, just a super fun little blend of uh, Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing, and I'm fine. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm going to hit that. Uh, all right, and the last video they showed us. The Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition has been confirmed for uh, the Nintendo <coughs> Switch. It's going to be a little bit of a retexturing of the original Wii version of the game. Uh, it's going to be out 2020. We don't know anything beyond that. Are you getting it? Uh, I'd like to try it. Did you play it on Wii? No. I did. It was good. But after Smash Brothers and Shulk, don't know if I can play as him now. Oh, because you... Backslash! You, you about to say every, backslash! You, you can't do anything but hear yo Backslash! Backslash! <laughs> That's all I hear. <laughs> all right. Well, that's going to do it for us, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Shannon, for joining me. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. It was a good show. It was, good. It was a good time. We thank all had fun here. Thank you. Uh, and, of course, thank you, Dalton and Lindsay, for joining me. Yeah. Uh, you know the one thing that we haven't mentioned What's that? at all today? Sure. Is that we had a really, really good pre-show. Oh, and for $1, you sure. could listen to Shannon say some pretty questionable things. <laughs> if you thought this was questionable. Every pre-show. Every like, pre-show that Shannon yeah, did, and that's you fair. Say and some it's Ace is, Ace is not here, and that's why. that we, no, None of us mentioned the pre-show because he is the best of us. In fairness, I usually mention it on Nerd. Yeah, but I just realized we went an entire hour plus and didn't mention. For $1 on our Patreon, you can get all of our pre-shows and, un and our undying love. You're going to want that questionable content. You are. And Boy, do we make you feel good about yourself. Johnny Underwood loves us. Think of it like DLC for, for radio. <laughs> you know? You kids love DLC. This is the saboteur. This is the season pass. This is the saboteur boob uh, DLC. Our for Patreon ours. our Patreon subscribers are the only reason we're still doing the show. I think the only reason I'm doing the show anymore is out of Catholic guilt. <laughs> I was say, I'm wondering why you're here, because yeah. when Jesse told me that, I was like, what's he doing? Yeah, I only do the show because everyone makes me feel bad when I don't. I would have quit this show a long time ago. Oh, yeah, you would have quit your show. It I would have so, quit all the shows. doesn't matter. So for $1... You can make me quit. <laughs> for $1, you can help us support and get new, innovative... Con con <laughs> Boy, Dalton's bad at this. New stuff. Uh, Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, yeah one, $1 goes towards supporting the show. Like, anytime we have to buy new equipment or whatever, like, all that comes out of Patreon. All of our monthly bills and fees and everything come out of Patreon. So we always appreciate it. For $1, and you get all those pre-shows, it's some solid content. Yeah. Very uncensored. Yeah. Solid content, though. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, tell a friend. Bye. Tee <laughs>